Hello, my name is Avery Stump and I'm a volunteer here at the USS Hornet Museum in Alameda, California. We recently found two pilots that flew A-4 Skyhawks right here on this ship during the Vietnam War. Get ready, we are about to reconnect two Marine Corps naval aviators to tell some Skyhawk stories. Roy Crane and Jody Gardner hadn't seen each other in over 50 years. It was my favorite airplane. I flew, what, about eight different aircraft in the Marine Corps. This was by far my, my favorite. So this is mine. I off and on for 13 years, and I got something like 2,000 hours plus in it. We had some encounters, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> VMA 214, Detachment November. They were assigned to intercept Russian aircraft, specifically the Tu-16 Badger. The Russians decided to come out of Vladivostok and overfly the task force. And so we had a certain way we had to come up for, to the Badger, otherwise we could be considered hostile. Yeah, so we had to get up high, stay, walk our way down, and Roy's on my wing at that time. So I'm taking my picture with my handheld camera, and these guns are tracking me to yeah. and from on a turn. And I'm, I'm watching this. Watching. What the hell I'm saying, doing? ooh, I may have to roll in here. But Roy got right, right up beside it, and he just crawled right up to the main cockpit. And I was taking right pictures, in there. flying with my stick between my knees to keep myself level. And I had my camera up, held handheld camera, a little Leica. As I scanned my instruments, all I saw was green. And he was trying to scrape me off into the water. And I, I started my descent. You went around the other side. And the badger turned into me. He's going to try to wipe me off in the water. The A4 Skyhawk, was, that's where it was maneuverable. I get right down there. Oh, you know, I could step right on top of him. He might have thrown himself in the water. And then they turn. We escort him back out. And we come back to the ship. Remember the thing in Top Gun about this canopy to canopy thing when one guy's rolling up and steps on over can't do the that enemy? In, in that situation. You got pretty close, but we were single seat aircraft and we had to fly the airplane and take the pictures all the time. VMA 214 traces their lineage back to Pappy Boeington's Black Sheep Squadron that flew at Guadalcanal during World War II. Because the squadron was made up of pilots that were not assigned to any squadron, and very few of their aircraft were reliable, they chose the name Black Sheep. The squadron insignia consists of a shield with a black bar, stars, a black sheep, and an F4U Corsair. Subsequent to that, then when we got signed to the uh, detachment on the USS Hornet, uh, Jody here designed this patch, and you based it upon the 214 original patch, which you added the USS Hornet at the bottom. You also put the A4 Skyhawk in the middle there. Other than that, it was an original pig. What many of these made? I think I've ever seen 10 or so like that. This guy, he, he really is an American hero because he's been through the wars twice. I never thought you thought of me that way. Oh, yeah. So seeing you like this, I don't know how, it's sort of a complicated emotional thing to describe. I can't really describe yeah. it per se. Well, but I, I thought maybe it wasn't bad. It was good. So out of the two of you, who's the better pilot? I am. It was so great getting these two back together. As luck would have it, we found a third pilot from their very same squadron, Al Potenza. Hornet Tales, take one. We've traveled down to Orange County, Southern California to reunite three Marine Corps pilots who have not seen each other since 1964. This is the A-4 Skyhawk. This is the type of aircraft they flew off the Hornet in the 1960s. Let's get them mic'd up and see what they gotta say. Potenza came aboard, made a nice approach right over the fantail, and the deck pitched up, and of course he's, he's touching down, so two forces come together and it blew the left tire. The wheels hit the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everything should have been fine and all of a sudden the ship. And that thing was war. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the hazards of that. It's, there's a rolling and pitching of the deck. Not all landings are smooth. Al Potenza was lucky that when his landing gear broke, he still landed safely. One of the other pilots wasn't so lucky. Bill Hale ended up dangling off the side of the ship. What happened was the ship turned, he's sitting on the flight deck with nobody on him, and his engine shut down and the canopy was open, and his airplane started sliding and went right into the catwalk. As I flew over the top, whoa, was he all right? On file, I saw the plane go like this, go. In fact, Bill made uh, captain while he was on that cruise. He slid off the side and... <laughs> you're you're the, a captain uh, now. Uh, it was actually Major Kern wanted all six of us in a group. So he had us come over and kind of stack us on the Roy's out right in the front. 
Yeah, so he's on the bottom ladder, the bottom step. Yeah, he's the bottom guy, and then I was standing against the ladder. And Alpha's looking between and the Al, ladder. Al's behind the back looking through the, through <laughs> the ladder. <laughs> and Major Kern sitting up on the top, the big officer in charge. <laughs> there were six of us initially, three of them, which all have since been flown west. On behalf of the USS Hornet Museum, we'd love to present you with these plaques. Each plaque has its own section of the original flight deck from CVS. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Wow. Each one just for you. Wow, thank you. We have loved bringing you back together. Wow. And we just thank you so much for all of your hard work. And this is part of the flight deck? Yeah. Mm hmm I'll be damned. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Always faithful. Semper Fi.